After requesting a meeting with the Tax Advisory Services section recently, employers and employees attached to China Harbor Engineering were able to get matters on VAT and corporation tax clarified. As construction work on the movie town complex progressed at Turkine, the contractor China Harbor sought an audience with the Ghana Revenue Authority to sort out issues with the value-added tax and its relevance on importation. Specialists from the GRA's Tax Advisory Services Division responded to their invitation, meeting the workers locally and their foreign counterparts at the site. The issue is whether, um, between us, whether VAT should be charged on wholesale or net sale, and it's always had been a problem. So, one of the things we discussed is that we should have GRA to clear the issue so that both parties understand who sh what should charge or what should not be charged. Watertech Limited, a Trinidadian subcontractor, is undertaking the installation of the sewage system and treatment plant. Its director, Sudesh Ramroop, inquired about the application of the value-added tax. Our responsibility includes the duty and clearance of the item storage and installation and handover of a functional product declined at the end of the day. It's a different thing if you were just a tourist and you came and you buy some stuff and you go back, you can claim your back to Mm. That's not happening. You have a business arrangement. If there is no registration here, then you will have to absorb the debt of The contractor felt assured after confirming that Guyana is no exception to the harmonized coding system set out by the World Customs Organization to promote uniformity in the international trading arena. See what happens is because harmonized taxes is that you have custom codes like 8505. It's for your mechanical equipment, for suit treatment. And if you put those codes, everybody in it will, will know that because right. it's internationally harmonized. Yes. So that once you code correctly, you have no problem. If you don't code, then I will bring this and they will say this is a plastic bottle or this is a paper cover. But if I say this is a bottle of water and I put it as that and I put a code next to it, because you could bring a piece of steel that's a shaft for a pump, mm -hmm. but then they can say that's a piece of steel. And then the code, the, go, the duties will be different. Yeah. The tax specialists also used the occasion to explain the circumstances under which foreign companies are eligible for tax exemptions provided that they are executing government contracts. The exemptions relate to the zero rating of VAT and excise taxes. If you're going to do a project for government at some point in time, you're exempt from VAT, so you don't charge them VAT. All right? Once it's a budget agency, there is no VAT involved here. All right? Um, there to give you a letter, of course, if you're going to do any project with them, just for information later on, you're going to have to get a letter from them so that when you um, apply to the guarantee or your refund, you have that letter attached to their invoices so that they know that you know, it's about your agency. Where a non-resident company is carrying out a trade or business in Guyana, the profits accruing in or derived from Guyana are subject to corporation tax. This is due on or before April 30. I felt that the workshop was completely, um, it l looked after the issues we had in general, uh, about importing goods into Guyana as a third party, and how VAT would be dealt with on that matter, and um, dealing with the main contract on site, and how they were to account for VAT and claim VAT back. Yes.